hey guys very good evening to you uh, welcome to the video number 320 and in this video I'm going to talk about how to work with the unread outlook emails the emails which you haven't actually read how to attend that how to capture the files from there let's say if this is your question right now um, due to some uh, you know my laptop actually um, unfortunate reasons um, it is actually under uh, you know this uh, basically repairment so i beg your pardon if you if you are uh, facing the some stretchness in the sc uh, screen it's not i know that not really looking good but i i think uh, we can manage that for maybe uh, you know three or four more vid videos and uh, it's under repair um, I, I have actually uh, asked people to come and you know uh, to see that what's wrong with the laptop its mic actually is not working so the moment i will get my laptop rectified i will definitely you know start uploading the videos on that and so this is all for for those who are watching the channel for the first time and that's why you actually you know get to see a little bit of uh, the stretching on the screens so i apologize for that now i i want to come back to the question guys um so i want to answer this question which uh, which is put up by the krish um, a week back actually and because of this laptop reason i couldn't actually upload the videos also as you know that i upload the videos almost on every day alternate day at least so my bad on that uh, but now i'm going to take up this question and uh, he, this is what actually he has written he has watched my one of my outlook videos and he said that uh, here i want to ask one question uh, i want to check only for the unread emails yesterday emails let's say and download those email attachments is it possible right so i'm going to talk about this uh, so we're going to first of all open the outlook and i want to tell you guys that what exactly it means I if you're still wondering that what is the question now you see that uh, for example i have these files in front of you these are very uh, little files I mean uh, they are not they're very less actually in numbers so I have the email 1 email 2 email 3 email 4 and 5 and 6 right and uh, all of the emails are actually read by me so I'm gonna use this uh, shortcut key or maybe you can right click and you can make that uh, mark as un unread so just go ahead and use this I think there's a shortcut key as well uh, might be I think control U yeah control u is the key to make them you know this uh, unread and if you want to change them to read then you can use the control q if i use control q you see that this is going to change right so these are the shortcut keys just in case if you're not aware so out of these six emails now what i want to do is i want to work only on these mails this is the question guys and if i open this uh, file you see that i have got here three files basically three attachments so i want to use that obviously if i click here i show you uh, we have one file here which is the day five if i open this we have another file which is called lavina underscore add-in right rest of the things we should not bother about the macro should not bother about so this is what exactly we're going to do and let me quickly make them unread again all right so overall i think three plus four plus five five attachments we need guys okay which should be available on your uh, desktop or wherever i mean you want that okay uh, so now what i want to do is of course i'm not going to talk about how to extract the code because you know that what is the code for that uh, if you're watching the channel for the first time then please go ahead and watch the playlist here you know these are all the playlists different different playlists we have 42 playlists in total guys and uh, they have the basic videos intermediate and the advanced videos so what you need to do is you just uh, need to scroll it down and you will find here a playlist called the uh, excel vba connecting outlook so maybe um if you scroll it down uh yeah that's the one when you click here on this video on this basically the playlist you get to see all these videos right 23 videos 23 videos all are the different videos on the different different subjects every time i receive something and i upload the video on that you know so what you need to do is uh, there is a there is a here um, a title which would say how to extract the I think uh, that's the one connecting outlook say specific email attachment well this is on the specific email attachment if you have a specific file name uh, this is on the subject line right so the concept re revolves around you know these basically the attachments uh, it's a bit basically the concept is same it's just that there is some variations in the code so I mean you can go ahead and watch all these videos okay so you would understand what I'm saying how to save the files from the attachment 
now what we are going to do here is uh, we are actually going to uh, I'm going to go in the comment sec uh, section again and um, yeah so unread email was the target actually so we're going to prepare a code here so let me just open a new Excel here and I'm going to show you how you can do that it's very simple actually there, there might be I think three or four lines that's it we need to add uh, before that extracting the code so I open the Excel and this is where we will write the code so I go to the developer tab and we hit on the visual basic and this is where we will write the code I'm going to click on the module the first thing which we will do we will add the reference to the Microsoft Outlook okay so I'll click on the M and let's check where we have that Microsoft Outlook so they are all alphabetically sorted so it is very easy to find that library please on this reference uh, Microsoft Outlook 15.0 uh, whatever you have I mean depending upon your version the number will come different but click back here on the tool reference and ensure that this is actually should be on this should be activated okay so now what we're gonna do uh, before we start the code I want to first of all give you some understanding on that how the outlook works now the outlook has different different classes I have talked about all these classes of course in my all videos also in this video I'm going to talk a little more on that uh, maybe a kind of a revision you can take it in that way now to work with the outlook obviously we have uh, we are we have you know uh, on the library we have uh, check mark this library which is called the Microsoft Outlook so that means the VBA is going to work with the outlook now Excel VBA is going to work with the outlook okay now to work with the outlook first of all you got to decide that what things you are supposed to do and then you're gonna pick up those classes right now for example in the outlook what happens this is the biggest object which is the outlook itself okay this is your outlook basically application which is the biggest object now I have talked about this in some videos also that whenever you want to work with the emails so you want to send the emails let's say or maybe you want to run the loop in the emails you want to check that if that email exists or not by this subject line or maybe attachment then you always use the class called mail item you got to use that okay and uh, if, if you if you're somebody who's going to work on the let's say folders if you want to work on the folders that you have some specific folders subfolders maybe you have created some folders then you got to use the namespace class okay and if you if you have somewhere you're gonna work with the files the attachments you know which comes with the email like in this code we're gonna work on that uh, so what you will do you will use the attachment class okay so this namespace and this mail item basically which is used to for the emails this is uh, these are the things you should know so this is going to be for the uh, you know for the emails this class is going to be for the folders and this is obviously for your you know excel files excel or text file whatever it is okay every kind of a file will be involved in this right so now the target is that we want to actually work on the emails which are unread okay uh, which are uh, there as uh, on the unread mode and we will actually also have a target of these emails should be targeted in the dummy folder which is a part of inbox so that means uh, we will have to actually use all these three classes because I'm gonna run the loop on every email one by one and for that I will be requiring the mail item class for each email in the folder emails you know that's what we're gonna use here uh, for each loop we are going to use it which is the collection loop of the VBA it comes in the different different varieties actually uh, this time we will use the outlook for each but if you want to have a look on the other for each like for each pivot in the pivots for each chart in the charts for each uh, cell in a range you know all those actually videos are available um, under the playlist called Excel VBA collection loops please go ahead right now I keep repeating all these you know the playlist because many times I keep on getting the request that uh, they want to find they want to learn this they want to learn that they are getting stuck here where is the video so guys everything is there you just need to go and have a look on those different different 42 created playlist you will find everything okay so let's start the topic now let's write the code the first thing which I I'm gonna do here is uh, let's give it a name called uh, um, extract uh, files from the unread emails this is what I'm going to give it a name alright now 
what is the next thing I want to do obviously I will declare my outlook application you know this is how we start always so I will be very quick here let's not waste the time we're gonna set up the outlook dot application the next thing as I said we want to work with the emails also so I'm gonna write here omail as outlook dot mail item and then omail equals to you know this is going to be the create item and then we're gonna write ol mail item fine now we need to also uh, define the folder because my folder actually is in the inbox it's a subfolder basically which is which has a name called dummy right so i also have talked about all this in the previous videos how to define the folder so i'm going to write here dim fol as let's say outlook folder this is how you define guys and then what is uh, you know what's going to be your folder set fol equals to uh, we're going to make it um, o uh, so before we make the folder actually I beg your pardon we have to use the class called namespace as I was talking about so you declare any object here so let's say dim o ns as outlook dot namespace and then you're gonna write set ons equals to it has to be equals to create uh, get the namespace this is how we define and it has to be your MAPI right MAPI stands for basically messaging uh, application uh, I think the platform uh, then I also stands for something I really don't remember it um, um, <laughs> I really don't remember I'm so sorry for that uh, so you can I mean Google it but basically this is all uh, th these two lines are responsible for your folders they decide your folder basically okay so that's what we're gonna do here uh, set the folder now what is your folder name actually this folder is going to be equals to ons get uh, you know the folder name so the default folder is going to be my obviously inbox which is this one inbox but in the inbox there is a folder so this is how you write folders and you write the name of the folder okay so I have to check what is the name of the folder actually just a second I think it's dummy let me click here yeah it's dummy actually right so this is how you can define the folder if you if you're gonna work only in the uh, with the inbox then you just need to actually write this uh, ol folder inbox and stop the code okay and in the meantime I remember yes it's I stands for interface okay uh, so this is all uh, your this uh, messaging uh, application and then the platform interface right this is responsible for your the folders this is how you define now it's very simple you know if you if you are not going to define ons you see that you can't use this ons dot because you have defined it as a namespace and that's the reason you can you are able to reach to this dot get default folder method right so this is the reason we will have to define it because we want to work with the folder part now um, what you what we need to do is uh, to in order to understand the code uh, first of all I mean I'm, I'm not gonna extract the emails but what you can do is uh, we can actually check the code is working or not so we will uh, fetch the subject lines of all these emails if they are unread okay so what we can do is uh, I will write here for each uh, my email which is omail in the folder which is folder dot items this is how we write right this is how we write the collection loop now this will actually work in the entire folder and this will go to each mail you know uh, one by one and it will check whether the email is unread or not and how you're gonna write uh, I mean you know you're gonna tell the VBA that uh, we're looking for the you know re uh, read mails or the unread e emails this is what you will write there's a property called unread so you would say that if your email is unread which means it if it is equals to true then what do you want to do then I want to simply get the message box of that email just to give you the understanding so I'll write here message box and email dot subject perfect and then if it is not unread which means it is already read then do nothing end if that's it okay this is a simple code which you need to do right now if I run this code let's have a look okay there we go uh, the first is great my data add in that's it guys you see that the the pop-up came three times and I think we had only three emails which are unread so let's check yeah there we go we have a great we have a my data and we have an add-in right so let me uh, once again make them I can choose the select them one uh, in using the shift key and I just press control I think the U yeah so this is how you see that the things worked now in order to um, 
you know write the in order to actually fetch the attachment so let me just complete it though i thought i would not write it but then if we have come this far then let's just write the code here so declare this dim atmt as a variable called outlook attachment now if the email is unread then what you need to do unread if is if your if your ma mail hasn't been read so far instead of the message box obviously you know we would like to get the attachment so what what we're going to do we're going to write here for each atmt and omail dot attachment well i have used this code a lot actually and that is why you know even you guys when they you see the co uh, videos then you have some different questions in your mind so you're quite familiar with this i hope at least uh, my subscriber would be quite familiar with this because he knows what i'm talking about in fact this video is for you know all of you so that's why i'm actually writing this code as well so that you shouldn't be uh, you know pausing this video and uh, going back to the videos which i was talking about available under the playlist uh, excel connecting outlook with excel though i i would still recommend you to watch all those amazing 23 videos because every video is unique they are on the different subject they are they they we have tried to answer the different questions right because i just want that my guys wh when you when you're going to watch these videos you can implement them in your practical you know um, in your office uh, work as well so now we're going to save that attachment uh, so i'm going to save at uh, save as file so we're going to use the save as file and uh, so then you're going to save it uh, you know wherever you want to save so for example if you have a d drive this is how you write the d drive and then you use the and and then what is what you need to save is obviously you got to write the file name that's it that's it guys that's it okay so in this way when you run this code you get to see uh, the attachments are going to save in your D drive. Now I don't have a D drive, but I'm just telling you, right? So this is how you write the code. So you will, when you run this, you will have all the files. But remember, they're going to be uh, extracted only if the email is unread. Okay, if the email is has been already read, it's not gonna work on that. And this is what exactly you were looking forward to, right? So this is your code. You can try on that and let me know what you think about this video, what you think about the code. I hope it's gonna help all of you all of you lovely people and thank you so much for your support keep asking these questions keep commenting and uh, keep liking the videos and anything which bothers you please give your comments on the channel and i'm gonna upload the video on the same right so with that said uh, i would like to take the leave but one request if you're watching the channel please do subscribe to the channel and uh, watch all those amazing 317 18 videos on excel excel vba and ms access access vba thank you so much for watching and i'm um, gonna be back with some another exciting stuff very soon thank you so much bye bye